RAID storage in the palm of your hand. We've got the Dataport 25 from CRU on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Ballaser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here again in Henderson, Nevada, right outside of Las Vegas. Now, if you're an Uber geek, if you like to build your own stuff, if you've got a lot of data, you know that storage is the lifeblood of an Uber geek. I mean, you just have to have it. Everything from your pictures to your videos to your sensitive documents needs to have a place to live. And more so as we become an increasingly digital society, as more of our stuff makes its way into the computer-only formats, you need to have something that's reliable, something that can stand a failure or two. And so, on the show, we've shown you several different devices that are just like that. RAID devices, but most of those are sort of desktop or rack-mounted units, something like the, the ReadyNAS NV Plus or the 1100 or the QNAP TS209. Those are all great devices. But what happens when you need to take that storage portable, when you need to take it on the go, when you want to have it in sort of a, a format that's easy to transport and at the same time can give you the performance and the redundancy that you need? Well, that's why we brought in the data port 25 from CRU. Now this diminutive looking device actually doesn't look like a whole lot. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of drive trays out there that look kind of like this. You've got the whole uh, steel aluminum construction with some plastic parts, a PCB, and, and some sort of connectors on the back. But even though it doesn't look grand, this is actually a pretty decent device. Now, I have to admit, I had not heard of CRU until they asked us to review this. But uh, this is uh, you know a, a nice, portable storage solution. It's got USB connectors so that you can get the full USB 2.0, 480 megabits per second. It's got a SATA connector so you can get the 3 gigabits per second transfer if you actually have drives that can support that. And it, it is actually a very nicely constructed little unit. Now, the question is, is this really a RAID storage device or just something that sort of claims to be so and provides a lot less? Well, we've had a couple of weeks to play with it, and this is what we found. The CRU Dataport 25 USB SATA RAID is a drive enclosure that fits two 2.5-inch laptop drives into the space of a single 3.5-inch hard drive or floppy. Rather than being just another enclosure that happens to carry two drives, the Dataport 25 can be set to use those two drives in any of four different RAID configurations. The kit comes with everything that you need to get started. The frame is a sturdy piece of gear that contains all of the connectors and electronics that will allow you to quickly dock and undock your Dataport 25 enclosure. The backplane has the docking connector and an interface electronics kit, while the front of the frame has an eject button underneath a key lock that serves as both a physical locking mechanism and an on-off switch. The back of the frame houses the power plug, a USB 2.0 connector, and a SATA connector. The carrier is a solid enclosure that has just a single connector for power and data. The size of a 3.5-inch hard drive, the tray slides out of the shell to expose a lightweight frame with two 2.5-inch hard drive connectors, one on top of the other. The carrier also has a set of dip switches that can be used to set the RAID mode. Installing the Dataport 25 is simple. You install two drives into the carrier by snapping them into place and locking them down with the included screws. The drives don't have to be of the same make, model, speed, or capacity, but generally it's a good idea to make them as close to spec as possible, since all but one RAID mode will limit your total storage according to the smallest drive. With the drives mounted, slide the tray into the enclosure and fasten the screws on the back. The enclosure is now ready to slide into the tray. The Databoard 25 docking tray slides into your desktop or 3.5-inch enclosure, much like any floppy or hard drive. You use the included power adapter to connect a standard Molex power cable to the back of the data port. You then have a variety of interface options. You can use the USB 2.0 port, or you can use a standard SATA cable to link it to your desktop or laptop. Both options give you hot swap capabilities for your drives, assuming that you have a SATA controller that supports port multipliers. 
With the drive installed, simply slide in the carrier and lock it into place using the key. To eject the carrier, unlock the device and use the eject switch to remove the carrier. As everything is hot swappable, there is no reboot needed. The RAID level is set by a pair of dip switches, one on the carrier and one on the frame, either of which can be used to tell the Dataport 25 which RAID mode you wish to use. In mode 1, the drives are concatenated, meaning that you will get one single visible drive that is twice as large as the smallest drive in the array. In mode 2, the drives are set for JBOD, or just a bunch of disks. This treats each drive as an independent hard drive. Mode 3 is RAID 1, mirroring. This will give you two copies of your data for maximum protection. The last mode is RAID 0, or striping. This distributes your data across both drives, maximizing transfer speeds, but also giving you a single point of failure. If one drive dies, you lose everything. Which RAID level you use is up to you, but you should closely consider what you want out of your enclosure. If you just want a large hard drive and you're not worried about redundancy, choose Mode 1. If you want to maximize the space that you get from the installed drives and you don't care about having a single drive letter, choose Mode 2. If you want maximum data protection to protect vital data, choose Mode 3. If you want raw performance and you already have your data backed up elsewhere, choose Mode 4. In our test, we used a variety of drives and drive configurations, and each test showed us that the Dataport 25 is almost transparent in the first three of its RAID modes. That means that performance is limited only by the quality of the drives that you put into the enclosure. When we switched to RAID 0, the striping option, we averaged a 10 to 20% boost in transfer rates, good performance for those who need it. But again, you need to understand that RAID 0 is the mode that is most susceptible to data loss. The CRU Dataport USB to SAT array device is available online for about $125. So a few final thoughts about the CRU Dataport 25. This is not a bargain basement enclosure. This is not one of those plastic jobbies that you might pick up from Fry's or Best Buy and kind of expect it to work but not really want to put any crucial data. I would have no trouble putting my most sensitive data on this device and, and being sort of guaranteed and, and assured that my data is going to survive even if I suffer a drive failure. Now, a few things about this unit. First of all, if you're going to use something like this, I really would suggest that you use the, the, the mirroring, the, the, the mode 3 option, because that's really what it's designed for. You don't want to have any sensitive, really sensitive data on a device like this, which is going to be portable, unless you know it's going to survive. Also, you may want to invest in really good hard drives. I mean, there are some really nice ones out there. I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy a bunch of solid state devices that are going to run you $1,000 a pop. But look into getting some 7200 RPM, or even they have 10,000 RPM 2.5 inch drives now, if you want that performance. Also, if you are going to use this as your sort of uber-fast performance data vault for, say, video editing or such, you're definitely going to want to have another backup. Uh, you can actually take this, since it looks like a standard USB device or a standard SATA device, and you can mirror it so that you can use this as sort of the stripe and then have a second device as a mirror. Again, that increases the cost, but it's much more secure for your data. Now to the cost. That's sort of the big down point for us. At $125 a unit, this is not exactly inexpensive. But then again, if you're building your own PC, and if you're looking for a storage device like this, you're probably not going to sweat the price all that much. Now, the really cool thing about the data port and the CRU devices is that CRU has a whole line of devices that are designed to be used with the same drive carriers and the caddies so that you can switch them back and forth. Now, we uh, weren't too clear on exactly which units are swappable with which trays. And we're trying to get that information from CRU, and hopefully we'll include that in a future review when we start looking at some of their external enclosures and their RAID devices that are designed for the desktop. But that would be really, really cool if you had the ability to sort of take one of these things out and pop it into another RAID or, or uh, take it and put it into an external carrier and, and be able to carry it around with you. If you're looking for a storage device that can give you that sort of data security, if you're looking for a way to be able to take your data on the go, if you want something that's sturdy, that's well-built, that's, that's not going to fall apart at the first sign of trouble, then you may want to check out the Dataport 25 USB to SATA RAID array from CRU. It could be the answer 
for your portable Uber Geek needs. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the CRU products, you can always reach us at our website, www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find the links for all of our episodes in high resolution, as well as places where you can buy the Dataport 25. If you want to write us, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been Henderson, Nevada. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you. <laughs>